The Cocky Valve Ultiflow float valves are a well-engineered and patented design. It comprises of a small stainless steel pushrod, a stainless steel washer seat and nitrile washer, a pivoting float arm, and two split pins. The replaceable nitrile washer is simply held firmly within the machined recess of the washer seat. The washer seat assembly is the first item installed inside the valve cavity. The pushrod simply slides in behind and engages the small shaft on the rear of the washer seat. The pivoting float arm is then installed behind the pushrod and held in location by one of the split pins. The second split pin is only there to support the float arm in those installs where the valve could experience direct stock pressure. Most troughs have a brass socket or coupling, cast or molded in, when the trough or tank is made. If replacing an existing valve with a new cocky valve, it is important to stop any water from entering the trough by first turning off the water control valve. Remove any existing reducing bushing that may have been installed and ensure the thread in the brass coupling is clean and undamaged. With cocky valves available in all matching sizes, just measure the size of the brass inlet and buy the cocky valve Ultiflow kit that suits. After applying a thread sealing tape, the cocky valve simply screws directly into the existing brass socket. With the cocky valve installed, you must now fit the float. With the float fitted to the end of the arm, in this case using the short kit, the water to the trough can be turned back on. As the water enters the trough through the valve, the water level rises within the trough, which in turn causes the float to rise. The float being attached to the pivoting float arm forces the float arm to lift, and as it pivots on the split pin, it exerts pressure on the pushrod, which in turn forces the washer seat assembly to seal. Easy and quick to install, and guaranteed for life, that's cocky valve.